So next come to the after preparation of the tablet, we are going for the evaluation of tablets. Okay. So first evaluation of tablet is hardness test. The tablet, the hardness of the tablet is uh, characterized by Monsanto hardness tester. I have shown in the video that how we can calculate the hardness through Monsanto hardness tester. Next come to the weight variation test. So how do we cal calculate the weight variation test? First, we are randomly taking 20 uh, tablets, okay? We have weighed the 20 tablets individually. After that, we are calculating the average weight of the tablet, okay? So that average, average weight plus minus 10% is the weight variation test. If it uh, if all the tablets under comes in the plus minus 10%, of the average weight then we can accept the tablet weight otherwise if it is differs from the part, uh, plus minus 10 percent then we can reject the particular tablet <coughs> so this is the uh, process for the weight variation test next come to the friability test for the friability test i have already demonstrated how can we determine the friability test we are taking the uh, rotary friability as a uh, friability tester missing okay so we are taking 10 tablets first we are weight all the tablets okay and we are noted the tablets weight after that we are putting the tablets in the rotary fire filter for the 25 rpm for that is five minutes okay so after that we are just uh, after five minutes we are just again uh, take the tablets and going for the weight when after that we are just weight the tablets again so already we had uh, weighted the initial bit before that means uh friability and after friability what is the weight of the tablet we are again noted so percentage of friability we are just calculated one minus loss in weight divided by initial weight into 100 so loss in weight how can you got the loss in weight that means Initial weight minus final weight is we are calculating loss in weight. Okay, so loss in weight if the particular initial total tablet weight is if it is uh, approximately if you are calculated for 150 mg, then if 10 tablets are there, then that means it is 1500 mg. After friability, if it is 1460, then loss it loss of weight is. Uh, 1500 minus 1460 it is 40 mg so 40 mg divided by initial weight that is 1500 mg into 100 according to this process we can calculate the friability next assay of the tablet okay so what is the process for the assay of the tablet so 20 tablets are pow uh, powdered and weighted at quantity of the powder equivalent about 0.15 mg or paracetamol are accurately weighted and added 50 ml of one molar sodium hydroxide diluted with 100 ml of water and set for 15 minutes so in a round bottom flux we are taking the 0.15 and 15 gram of paracetamol tablet and we are taking media as a 15 ml of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide and diluted with 100 ml of water in a strict of 15 minutes and add sufficient water to produce 250 ml. So first we are taking 250 ml round bottom flux, then we are adding the paracetamol tablet, okay, powdered paracetamol tablet and we are adding solution as a sodium hydroxide, 100 ml and we are make up the volume up to 250 ml with water, okay after that they are mixed and filtered and diluted 10 ml with the filtrate to 100 ml with water so we are we have to go for the filtration after filtration then we are diluted with water okay so uh, after dilution we are again added 100 ml of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide and absorbance of the resulting solution at maximum uh, that means the lambda max about 250 7 nanometer okay so after dilution we are taking the sample for the absorbance in uv visible spectrophotometer at the uh, that is uh, 257 
nm that is uh, that is uh, lambda max okay so in 257 nm lambda max we are using uv visible spectrophotoscopy and we are getting the absorbance okay by this process we are calculating the assay next disintegration study so uh, we have i have already demonstrate how can you determine the disintegration study in the video okay so uh, for the disintegration test we are taking medium as a water okay and the speed of the disintegration apparatus is 30 cycles per minute and temperature should be 37 degrees celsius okay so this is the main condition for disintegration test okay so in the disintegration test apparatus i have shown that is six members are there each and every member we have to put one tablet okay so after putting the tablet we just start the disintegration apparatus and we calculate the time at what time the tablet become disappear is the disintegration time okay one tablet was added into each of the six tubes of the apparatus and assembly was suspended in the beaker containing water and time required to disintegrate each tablet was noted okay so the for each and every tablet total that means tablet become disappear that is called the disintegration time next come to the dissolution study so the, uh, for the dissolution study uh, dissolution study is carried out by using uh, that is a usp type 2 apparatus okay we are using usp type 2 apparatus for dissolution study uh, that is uh, we are taking the set of condition was i have already shown in the that means video how can we perform the dissolution study okay so uh, that is six chambers are there that the volume of the chambers are 900 ml we are taking 900 ml of 6.8 phosphate buffer and we are using pedal type uh pedal type that is usb apparatus okay pedal type usb apparatus that is two type of um, dissolution study apparatus are there one is pedal type and another one is basket type okay so the rotation of the pedal is 50 rpm and we have to maintain the uh, total sink condition that is 37 degrees celsius okay we are taking 40 uh, samples for 45 minutes okay so 5 ml of samples were with, withdrawn at the time interval of 5 15 30 45 minutes okay each and every 15 minutes of time we had withdrawn 5 ml of sample and we again maintain the volume of 900 ml by adding 6.8 phosphate buffer with that particular chamber okay we after taking the sample of 5 ml again we have to put the 6.8 phosphate buffer with, uh, in that particular 900 ml figure to make up the volume 900 ml okay so after taking the sample we diluted it properly and we are taking the absorbance at 249 nanometer that is wavelength or in uv visible spectrophotoscopy okay after preparing the calibration curve okay so amount of drug release can be determined by uh, determined by given formula already given it that is amount of drug release is equal, equal to concentration into volume of dissolution medium into dilution factor divided by thousand okay that is a how can you calculate that is the formula for amount of drug release and percentage of drug release is amount of drug release divided by strength into 100 by this process only we can go for the evaluation of tablets so this is the uh, main evaluation parts of the paracetamol tablets. Uh, we are going to discuss uh, one of the most ev uh, important evaluation study of tablet that is hardness test. Okay. So you have seen this apparatus, this is called Monsanto hardness tester. 
okay here we have uh, in this portion we have you have seen we have put one tablet on there and we have to check uh, from the scale whether it is uh, actually situated here from the starting from the beginning we are taking as a zero and we just uh, start to we, are, we just start to rotate this portion after that you can see you can just observe the tablet where at what portion the tablet becomes break okay you can see I have just scroll it in upward portion okay you can see the tablet is already broken now it is start from 5 now it is up to 7 so we just calculate this 5 as a 0 and up to 7 we can calculate the total hardness of the tablet it is total 7 okay uh, sorry it is total 6 you can see the hardness of that particular tablet is 6 by this process we can calculate the hardness of the tablet so students uh, for evaluation of tablet one of the most important evaluation test is friability test so this one is the this is called as a rotary friabilitor here we have seen this machine from uh, along with this machine with the help of this machine we can calculate the friability test so first i have taken 10 tablets i have first weighted all tablets and i have put it down in my book okay then i just put it here and i just adjust it You can now you can see all the tablets are going inside this machine this is called rotary friabilitor i have already set the rpm that is rotation per minute already 100 rpm i have already set and i just operate this machine for 10 minutes okay after 10 minutes it will be continued to 10 minutes after 10 minutes when it is completed i have again calculate the weight of the final tablets okay if the variation occurs uh, if the first we have taken the first uh, 10 tablets weight after 5 minutes after 10 minutes rotation we have again going to take the uh, weight of the tablet if any variance occurs variation occurs then we can conclude that the friability test So, uh, students, this is the uh, uh, disintegrating test. Okay, we have to go into perform. So, you have seen this is disintegration test apparatus. Okay, so this is also one of the important method for evaluation of tablets. We have seen uh, in two uh, buckets are there. Okay, we have insert five each uh, five each five tablets in each bucket. Okay, five tablets in each bucket. After that, we have set the timer, okay, then we have to see in what time all the tablets become disappeared here, okay. We have to calculate the time. By calculating the time, we can conclude that the disintegration time of that particular tablet. Here you have seen all the tablets are under the solution, already solution is given here, uh, solution media. From that media and from that time, we can calculate the disintegration time. Apparatus. So this is the dissolution apparatus we have seen. This is the. There are two types of dissolution apparatus are there. One is the paddle type and another one is the basket type. But here we are taking that the paddle type dissolution apparatus. Here you have seen the four chambers are there, and in this particular chamber we have taken the media that is 6.8 phosphate buffer for that particular sustained release tablet now here uh, by uh, uh, lifting down we are going to start the dissolution apparatus here i have taken two tablets of sustained release tablets that is the different brand okay the composition is same but brand is different here we put the two different tablets here Okay, we have put two different tablets here. 
now we are going to start dissolution for 6 hours and we have to collect the sample for that particular dissolution in half an hour interval of time okay half an hour interval of time we have taken the sample and after that we are going for the uh, uh, for the study after collecting the sample we are take the sample for the uv analysis and after that absorption are recorded for this type only we can start the panel type here i have started the panel type so for this dissolution uh, process we have to maintain the temperature of this apparatus this media for 37 degrees celsius okay after that after 6 hours we have to stop that and every half an hour interval we have to collect the sample for the uv Uh, now I want to, I am just going to demonstrate the UV visible spectrophotometer. That is the main part of the maximum your, that means uh, practical work. You have to uh, calculate the absorbance here only, okay. So this is Simazzo UV visible spectrophotometer, okay. So already you have seen the display of this particular UV visible spectrophotometer here. That uh, different different portions are there. That is, you can calculate photometric spectrum, uh, quantization, then kinetics. Everything is already here. But you just go, what you have want, you just go for the calculation. Okay. Uh, here you have seen I have taken the near about five to six samples of uh, total total six samples already. They are diluted. Okay. Uh, proper dilution is there. And you have seen this is called cubit. Okay, this is called cubit. Two all uh, here you have seen four uh, portions are there. Two portions are already transparent, and another two portions are non-transparent. Okay, I have to just put the samples. I have already put the particular samples in the cubit. Okay, and I have to. This is the opener of the UV visible sp spectrophotometer. You can see that is two portions are there okay i have to put the two samples on here first uh, uh, after before putting the samples first i have to calibrate calibrate with the particular uh, instrument with the standard okay first i have to calibrate with the standard then after that i have to put the samples here you can see the uh, that is non transparent portion i have to put like this way only okay because the UV rays come through the that is transparent portion. The UV rays come through the transparent portion. So I have already put two samples here. One is standard, another one is sample. Okay. So by this process, uh, now I am uh, just describe you by this process only. I have to calibrate. I have to uh, calculate the absorbance here. Already software is there. Okay. That is UV probe software already installed in our computer along with this uh, spectrophotometer. With the help of this software, we can calculate the absorbance. So this is the main portion of the UV visible spectrophotometer. You can calculate the absorbance also from this UV visible spectrophotometer.